Sport is a passion for many youngsters, but often they're not as happy about spending the hours they have to at school. Burnley's first schools, which were situated near St. Peter's. The oldest was the Grammar School, which was founded in 1559, though it could trace its origins to the Chantry School held in the church itself in the Middle Ages. The Grammar School's first real home was a small building in the steepland of St. Peter's. This was until the 17th century, when a new school was erected on what is now Bank Parade. This building was used for 200 years or so, and it was here that, as legend tells us, the boys raised the devil which had to be beaten back to hell with spades. Anything was possible for boys who were expert at the cockshy. In 1873, the beautiful building we now call the Old Grammar School was built. It's one of the finest buildings of local architect William Angelo Waddington, and it housed the school for almost a century, until in 1959, on the 400th anniversary of its foundation, the school moved to a new site across the town. When comprehensive education was introduced, Burnley Grammar School became Habergham High School, not only because the new building was in Habergham, but also because John Habergham is mentioned in the Charter of 1559. Near St. Peter's is its parochial school, the oldest primary school in Burnley. It was founded in 1828 by the Reverend Robert Mosley Master, who was the curate of Burnley. On Ormerod Road stands Burnley College, which was opened in 1909. It was for many years called Burnley Municipal College and School of Art, and replaced premises at the Mechanics Institution on Manchester Road. The Mechanics Institute has a proud history in Burnley, and the building dates to 1851. It housed an exchange and reading rooms, an extensive library, an assembly hall, as well as the Burnley School of Art. Classes were also held here in numerous subjects, training young people for work in the textile and engineering industries. Today, it's home to the Burnley Mechanics and the gallery downstairs. The former is particularly well known as the venue of the town's blues festival, though music of all kinds, drama and a host of other events are held there. Other schools in all areas of the town are remembered mostly with affection by those who attended them. We were so limited in resources. I mean, we actually wrote on, on slates with a slate pencil. It was just a straightforward slate pencil and we always had a damp cloth so that we could erase anything that we'd written or all the rude words that we'd written there on, etc. But we played some magnificent games, like the big ship sails through the alley alley o, and uh, this is the way the farmer sows his seed, and wonderful games which I still remember, some of them, probably enough. Uh, nothing to say a kid going to school with, with uh, a clog and a plimsoll, or a plimsoll with a sole slapping. Uh, the, the shirt sticking out through a hole in the pants. Jerseys down with big, different colours to the colour of the jersey. The hair cropped, not cut, not styled as they are today, just cropped, straight line across the front. There is a school in Burnley which, as it's been in existence for almost 175 years, is worth considering in more depth. The school is St James Church of England School at Lane Head in the town. It was formerly a Methodist chapel and school, but in 1834, Robert Mosley Master took over the building. The earliest part of the school is the westerly section. Like the older buildings of the town, it's built of stone, dressed at the front, rubble at the back. 
In those days the ground floor would have been flagged, and the whole building was heated by a centre stove, like the one at the old Haggard Chapel. Lanehead was run like other national schools. There would be a master, and possibly a lady teacher, who could teach a hundred or so children using the monitorial system. The teachers prepared the monitors, who passed what they'd learned on to the younger children. The master would supervise. This picture, taken in 1908, is something of a mystery. Why should these children be outside school rather than at their lessons? The strange answer is that they were on strike. At this time there were several strikes in schools, not only in Burnley but all over the country. It's fortunate that this picture has survived. As the century progressed, it became increasingly difficult, given the age and design of the building, to provide a service of the quality demanded. In addition, new houses were being built at Lane Head. A new school had become necessary. Just over the Briarcliff Road, and within sight of the old school, a new building has been provided. The first phase was opened in 1971. Some children remained in the old school, but three years later the second and third phases were completed and all the children were housed under one roof again. Today the modern St. James Lane Head serves the parishes of Briarcliff St. James and St. Cuthbert's Burnley. <laughs>